In this video, we'll consider important ideas that are useful for upcoming PMO 2024, 2023, 2024 qualifying stage, area stage, national stage. And I'll leave some homework from, some homeworks, nine homeworks from AMC 12 and also other things, some ideas, the proof of them as homework. And if you want to prepare for next level, for example, PMO qualifying stage or national stage or area stage, and want to learn important ideas, 40, 50 important ideas in each topic, combinatorics, algebra, number theory, and geometry, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Also, last PMO, I solved all problems of last video and I released uh, all solutions of PMO national level. Uh, you can find it in my channel. If you want to know any solution of PMO qualifying level, area stage, national stage, as I said before, you can send message to my WhatsApp number. We will consider 20 ideas. And as I said, I leave nine homeworks. We will solve some of them. Some of them, these ideas, for example, casework here, consider the most limited case, considering small examples. These things are repeated in all years of AMS, uh, of PMO, qualifying stage, national stage, and also area stage. Here, another case for important identities, one-to-end hockey stick identity, and also important ideas in trigonometry, and Pythagorean theorem, some basic things in geometry, ratio lemma, and allows us theorem, double Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared to n squared, 1 cube to n cube. If you want to learn all important ideas, rest of the ideas, as I said before, you can send message to my WhatsApp number. Also, homework 1 and 2 are before that for pr some proofs of the identities or ideas. Homework 3 to homework 9 are from AMC 12A 2023, last AMC. Q5, Q7, you can solve these problems with the ideas that I tell you in this video. Okay. Okay, let's try here 15 problem from part 1. Let's try because the idea of problem 14 is similar to ideas of uh, many other problems of PMO and also AMC. Try problem 14 first on your own. Okay, for this one, let's consider first 5 by 5. And Okay, let's see, for example, let's find some small, some cases, some examples. For example, maybe we have, for example, a f five times something. Okay, let's see, can we have, for example, a smaller rectangles means, um, for example, without dimension five. It will be like this, then we should cover this cell and this cell. Okay, and also this cell. And we know that one rectangle should contain at least two of them because we have three rectangles in total. So one rectangle should contain two of them. This one and this one, not possible because then we should have this. This one and this one, if you have this, it will be like this one and last one will be this. So as you can see, always we have a rectangle that one side is five, okay? So we have, for example, five by one, five by two, something like this. We have this structure. We have also one more structure. It is what? Uh, we have, for example, five by something, okay? And then these two things, we can divide like this, or we can divide like this. So we have two cases. And now, again, we should split into smaller cases. So idea one, case works, which is so much important. Okay, so um, for this one, first we split into two cases. And you can see it is not possible to have any other cases. Because look, this, if it is here, it will be like this. You can divide to two parts. If we have, for example, five by something here, then we have to have here, this one, and this one, because we have exactly three rectangles. So we have two cases. We are solving this problem by casework. And in casework, one important idea consider is that consider the most limited case, okay? 
And here we can consider, for example, five by something. Look, because limited case, one side is five. And now we have these two cases. And in case where if one part is hard, again, split that part to smaller parts, to smaller cases. Okay, so try the rest first on your own. Let me tell you which of them is easier. This one is easier. Try this case two first on your own. Pause the video and try. Okay, let's try this part together. Okay, so it says you if two cases reach each other by rotation or reflection, then they are considered the same. So here we know these lengths. Some of them should be five. So, if the maximum, again, if the maximum is 3, it will be 1, 1. If maximum is 2, it has to be 2, 2, 1. Maximum 1, not possible. Maximum 4, also not possible. Now, for 3, 1, 1. Let me tell you different cases. 3, 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, and 1, 1, 3 will be same as this. By rotation or reflection, you can reach the same thing. So, here are two cases. For 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 2, again, these two cases are similar. So, two cases. So, 2 plus 2 will be 4. Okay. Now, consider this case. Again, this part first on your own. Okay. For this one, we consider they are vertical because if they are horizontal, you can rotate. And for this one, again, we consider this 5 by 1 horizontal, vertical. And then you divide like this. In the other two rectangles, we don't have 5 by something. So here, this 5 by something, it can be 5 by 4, or 5 by 3, or 5 by 2, or 5 by 1. Let me tell you 5 by 4 will be what? At first, let's consider 1, 2, or let's write this, throw it 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 5 by 5. Now, here when we have 5 by 1, or 5 by 4, it will be like this. Now, for the rest, you have. This one, this one, one case, one and one by four, one four, two three, three two, and four one by reflection and rotation can be reach each other. So two cases, if instead of five by four, we have five by three, then it will be similar. Again, this one, one row, four rows, or two rows, three rows, again, two. Similarly, this one, two, two. So it will be what? 8. 8 plus 4 will be what? 12. So the answer will be which choice? 12. Okay. So by considering a small example, we could solve this problem. If you want to also, this idea case work useful in other years of PMO. Round 1, area stage, or qualifying stage, area stage, and national stage. Also, I release all solutions, full solutions of PMO national level last PMO. If you want to learn other ideas, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, let's try to solve other problems. Okay. Now try problem 15. Try pause the video and try 15 first on your own. Okay, in this problem it says let A1 be a positive integer less than 200. Define this sequence like this. Let A be the set of all indices M such that AM is integer, but AM plus 1 not. What is the largest possible elements, element of F? A? Okay, so here I, I've i told you two ideas so far. Uh, let me write third idea. Considering a small example, so much powerful. I can say the most useful idea is this. Consider small examples. And then you can also prove it by induction in IMO useful in PMO national level, one of the most useful idea. And also in other exams, AMC, AMA, use some. Okay, first we want to see that AN plus 1 is what in terms of AN? AN plus 1 is what? It's 2AN plus 1 over 3. So now let's consider A1 is a positive integer. A2 is what? 
2a1 plus 1 over 3. So, if a2 is integer, what can we conclude? We can conclude that, for example, let, let's also, we can check a small example. If a1 is 1, a2 is what? a2 is 2 times 1. 2 plus 1 over 3, 1. Again, next one, a3, 1, and all of them will be integers. What we, a is what? am is integer, is an integer, but am plus 1 is not. So in this case, we can't find any number that m plus 1, am plus 1 is not integer. But for example, if a2 is, a1 is 2, then you can see, okay, a2 is 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5 over 3, a3 will be 2 times 5 over 3 plus 1 over 3, it won't be integer anymore. Why? Because you factor from 3, it's 2 times 5, 10 plus 3 over 3. Again, it won't be integer, 13 over 9. And also next one won't be integer and so on. Now, let's see, for example, under which case a2 is integer. A1 should be what? When A2 is integer, 2A1 plus 1 should be multiple of 3. So mod 3 is 0. Okay. One way is to check, for example, say A1, 0, 1, 2, and you can see A1, 1 works. Or we can say 2A1, you can subtract 1, negative 1, you can add 3 because it is mod 3, 2, and you can divide. Divide both sides by 2, so A1 is 1, mod 3. Let me tell you how we can divide, it's, we can say ID of 4, if AB is congruent to AC mod M. If you want to divide by A, you can say B is congruent to C, they are equivalent. Over mod M, over GCD of M and A. Okay, you can prove it as homework 1. Okay. Now... Here, when you divide by 2, GCD of 2 and 3 is 1, so 3 over GCD that is 1 is 3 again. So A1 is 1. If A1 is 3, A1 mod 3, then we can conclude A2 is integer, okay? And because the problem says, find the largest possible case. Largest possible AM that is integer, next one is not. So we want to continue, for example, we want to say, okay, under what case a3 is integer. Okay, now try a3 is integer, try to find a1 has to be what mod what. Okay, by this equation, try first on your own. Okay, let's calculate a3. We know a3 is 2a2 plus 1 over 3. And we know what? We know that A1 should be 1 mod 3. We can replace again uh, A1 or we can say, okay, if this one is an integer, then similarly like this, A2 should be what? Mod 1 mod 3. Like when we consider A2 is integer, then A1 should be 1 mod 3. So A2 should be 1 mod 3. Now, A2 is what? A2 is 2A1 plus 1 over 3. Uh, it should be 1 mod 3, so it should be 3Q, for example, plus 1. Okay, so if you multiply, it will be 2A1. Plus 1 is 9Q plus 3. Okay, now we can say we want to find A1 is what? We can consider mod 9. So 2A1 plus 1 is 3 mod 9. Now, if you subtract 1 from both sides, 2a1 is 2 mod 9. Now we can divide both sides by 2, so a1 is 1 mod 9, okay? So, if a2 is an integer, then we can conclude a1 is 1 mod 3. If a3 is an integer, then we can conclude a1 should be 1 mod 9. Okay, now you can guess, and you can prove by induction. Next one, for example, if A4 is integer, can you guess A1 should be what mod what? We can prove is 1 mod 27, okay? And in general, if AK is an integer, then A1 is what? A1 is 1 mod 3 to the K minus 1, okay? So if a1 is 1, for example, mod 3 to the m, then a1 
uh, up to am will be integer. Okay, am plus one, sorry. Because look, k minus one k, so here m one more than m, m plus one. Okay, now the problem says what? The problem says a1 is an integer less than 200. And uh, we know a1 is not 1, because if it is 1, then all of them will be 1. Okay, so a1 is not 1, so the minimum a1 is what? 3 to the m plus 1. For example, let's consider a1 1 mod, for example, 27. And A1 is not 1. A1, you say, okay, 28, 27 plus 1 is good. A1, 1 mod 81, we can find good A1. A1 is what? The minimum A1 that we can find and is good. 82, less than 200 is good. But if you want to find A1 is 1 mod 243, the minimum A1, A1 will be at least 244. And it's not good because A1 should be less than 200 from assumption of the problem. So last one is 3 to the 4, 81. So because it's 3 to the 4, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5 can be integer, but a6 is not integer, okay? So the maximum k is what is 5 by the definition, by the assumptions of the problem. It will be 5, and it will be choice a. Now from part 2, let's solve first problem 1. Try problem one first on your own. Pause the video and try. Okay, so S is this, and we should consider two element subsets of S and consider the difference between the two elements and the average of all of these difference can be expressed as a fraction A over B. Uh, here again, we can use casework, okay? Similar idea. And it has lots of solution. You can use casework on the difference, or you can use casework on minimum. If minimum is 1, then you can say, okay, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 2, 23 minus 1, 22, 20, 22. So it will be 1 plus 2, 2, 20, 22. So it will be what? It will be 22 times. So well, let me tell you some important identities here. I told you. Idea three, okay. Identity four that you should memorize. One to n is n times n plus one over two. Okay, and this one is twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three over two, and we can write it as twenty twenty three choose two. Second one, if minimum is two, then. 3 minus 2, 1, 2, 20, 23 minus 2, 20, 21. So 1 plus 2, 2, 20, 21. Similarly, we can say it's 20, 22, choose 2. Up to last one, 20, 22. So it will be only 1, which is 2, choose 2. Okay, now we should calculate some of them. For this part, you should know hockeystic identity. Okay, if you use hockey, if you apply hockeystic identity, let me tell you it is what r choose r plus r plus 1 choose r plus r plus 2 choose r 2 up to n choose r. It is n plus 1 choose r plus 1. Okay, now here it will be 2 choose 2, 2. Last two elements are 20, 20, 2 choose. 2 plus 20, 23, choose 2. Okay. So, calculate rest, rest of the solution on your own. So, it will be what? It will be 20, 24, choose 3 by hockeystic identity. Now, the problem says average is what? So, how many numbers do we write? It says every two element subset of S. 1 to 20, 23. So it will be all of them. 20, 23, choose 2. And some of them will be this. So look, for example, I consider it from minimum, or we can consider from difference. We can call this one double counting. And it was also useful in 
AMC 12, one problem of AMC 12, it, it was related to subsets. So homework two, I should search it and tell the exact problem is what. If you want to know that or want to learn other ideas, feel free to send message my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, let's try to solve this. If we calculate this, it will be 2024 times 2023 times 2022 over 3 times 2 all over 2023 times 2022 over 2. We can cancel this one. We can cancel this. This one. So it will be what? It will be 2024 over 3. And it's not multiple of 3. Okay, now let's see. We should find what? It says, answer A plus B. Find some of the digits of that. Okay. So 2024 plus 3, 2027. Some of the digits will be 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 7. Which is what? Which is 11. Now let's see. Let's solve some other problems. This one related to casework. This one related to... Um, this one only you should start from last one. Let's solve this one because it's also related to trigonometry problem. So let me erase them. Try problem three first on your own. So let's calculate each part. Let me move it here. Okay. f of x is this. So f of x plus 1 will be what? Will be cosine 2 pi x over 3 plus 2 pi over 3. This one will be what? Cosine 2 pi x over 3 plus 14 x plus 14. 14 times 2, 28 pi over 3. This one is cosine 2 pi x over 3. Plus 20, 23 times 2, 40, 46. Let me move it to left. Okay, so a bit. Times pi over 3. Now, we know 2 pi, 6 pi over 3 is 2 pi. Okay, so it has no effect if you add. So this one you can say is equal to cosine 2 pi x over 3. 6 pi over 3 is 2 pi. You should find 28 mod 6. 24, so it will be 4 pi over 3. This one will be cosine 2 pi x over 3. 40, 46 mod 6 is what? 6 times 6, 36, 44. 7 times 6, 42, 26. 24, 2 pi, 2 pi over 3. Okay, now you should find maximum of this. Try the rest on your own. Okay, now it will be what? It will be cosine 2 pi x over 3 plus 2 pi over 3, and same thing here. So it will be 2 cosine 2 pi x over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 plus this one. Which is cosine 2 pi x over 3 plus 4 pi over 3 whole squared. Now, how many angles do we have? We have two angles. 2 pi x over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 and 2 pi x over 3 plus 4 pi over 3. And uh, we want to find a good x to maximize this. So, here, for example, we can say this one is angle alpha. So this angle is what in terms of alpha? It will be alpha plus 2 pi over 3. So we want to maximize 2 cos alpha plus cos alpha plus 2 pi over 3. Whole squared. So Suppose inside this is, we define it as g of alpha. I want to find maximum of this part square. So maximum or minimum of this we want to find. So if you have local minimum or local maximum for finding this, we should use one way is to use derivatives. 
Uh, it will be idea 6, idea 7. For finding mean and max, like this, we know the derivative is 0. F prime 0. Here, G prime. And G prime of alpha will be what? Here, cosine alpha. Let me write. Cosine alpha prime will be negative sine alpha. And so if you write, it will be what? We can do something. We can first take derivative or we can consider, we can first simplify cosine alpha plus 2 pi over 3 by which identity? We know cosine alpha plus beta is what? Also, we have same thing for tangent, cotangent, and sine. For cosine, it's cosine alpha, cosine beta minus sine alpha, sine beta. So it will be what? Let's write that one first. Let's simplify g of alpha. g of alpha is 2 cosine alpha plus, instead of cosine alpha plus 2 pi over 3, uh, we want to use identity 9 or IDM 9. It will be cosine alpha cosine 2 pi over 3 minus sine alpha sine 2 pi over 3. Uh, Identity 10, for example, if you want to find cosine 2 pi over 3, cosine 180 minus alpha or pi minus alpha is cosine, let me write, is negative cosine alpha, and sine 180 minus alpha is sine alpha. So, by using this, cosine 2 pi over 3 or 120 degree is cosine pi over 3, cosine 60. It will be one half. Uh, sorry, it's it's negative this. Let me change it. It's negative this, which is negative one half. Negative negative one half like this. Sine two pi over three is negative sine pi over three. Sine sixty, which is root three over two. Oh, sorry, here we don't have negative, so root three over two. Sine six. Now, if we replace. G of alpha will be 2 cos alpha. Cos 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half. So it will be minus 1 half. Cosine alpha and sine 2 pi over 3 is root 3 over 2. Minus root 3 over 2 sine alpha. And then we can say G of alpha is 2 minus 1 half is 3 over 2. Cosine alpha minus root 3 over 2 sine alpha. Now we want to do something. We want to consider g prime alpha is zero. So if you take derivative, we said if you take derivative from cos, it will be minus sine alpha. Idea eleven sine alpha prime will be cosine alpha. So it will be what uh, three over two negative cosine alpha minus root three over two cos alpha equals zero. Mm, I'm sorry. Here, cosine alpha, if you take derivative, it will be minus sine alpha. So we can um, take this one to right hand side. We can multiply both sides by 2. So minus 3 sine alpha equals root 3 cosine alpha. Now, if you divide by cosine alpha, it will be sine alpha cosine alpha. Also, if you divide by negative 3, it will be negative root 3 over 3. So tan alpha is negative root 3 over 3. Let me tell you one thing. If tan alpha equal tan beta, we can say also for sine, cosine, and cotangent, we have similar things. Alpha here will be beta plus k pi, which k is integer. Okay. For sine and cosine, a bit different. We have another formula. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, can you tell me one angle that tan is root 3? Let's calculate tan 30 or tan pi over 6. It will be sine pi over 6 over cos pi over 6. Sine pi over 6 is what? Is 1 half. This one is root 3 over 2. So this one is 1 over root 3 or root 3 over 3. And another thing that we know is tan negative alpha equals negative tan alpha. Because we want to reach negative root 3 over 3, so we know tan negative 30 degree. Or, for example, negative pi over 6 is negative root 3 over 3. 
In this problem, we want only one angle, okay? But if you want to find all angles, you can say, okay, beta plus 180 times k. So, for example, negative 30 plus 180 will be what? Will be uh, 150. Okay, and if you add again 180 to, 50, 180 to 150, it will be 330 or negative 30. Now, for this angle, we know our angle, our alpha minus 30 degree is good. So, g of negative 30 degree or negative pi over 6, let's see, is what? 3 over 2 times cosine minus 30, which will be cosine 30. Cosine 30 is what? Is 1 half. Cosine, good side, cosine 30 is root 3 over 2. Minus root 3 over 2 times sine negative 30, which will be negative 1 half. So it will be 3 root 3 over 4. Minus root 3 minus minus will be plus. Plus root 3 over 4. So it will be 4 root 3 over 4, which is root 3. Now, it is root 3, maximum part. Root 3 squared will be what? It's minimum, maximum, not important because when you raise the power of 2. It will be what? It will be the maximum. Because look, for example, if something is from negative 5 to, for example, 2, if you want to find maximum of something squared, negative 5 minimum, but when you raise it to the power of 2, it will be maximum. Okay, so here uh, we only need to find derivative equal 0, minimum, maximum, not important, because you raise the power of 2, then it will be maximum. So here, 3. The answer is 3. Now. We've considered 13 ideas, and I told you two homeworks. Let me tell you some other homeworks here from AMC, last AMC, that you can try homework three. If you want to solve problems by applying uh, casework, small example, and something like that, let's consider the problems in AOPS. Problem, uh, it is last AMC, 12, 8, 20, 23. Problem 5 is good as homework 3. And this one, 4 digit. Uh huh, again, this one, problem 7 as homework 4. Uh, let me check. Uh huh, in geometry, also, let me tell you some ideas. Some basic ideas, idea 14, for example, you should use Pythagorean theorem, also double Pythagorean theorem. Mm, and next one, idea 15, cosine law. And also, as I said, we have double Pythagorean theorem. Here's sine law and also ratio lemma. Ratio lemma and Menelaus's theorem useful in PMO for some also national level. Idea 18, idea 19, uh, Sebas theorem, and many other ideas. But the basic ideas in geometry are these ideas. If you want to learn all ideas, 40, 50 important ideas in each topic, as I said, feel free to send message my WhatsApp number. The description. Okay, so homework 13. Let's write them. Also, there are five. So homework 3 is homework for these. There are around five identities that you should memorize. For example, I told you 1 to n and hockey stick identity. Also, you should know 1 squared to n squared, 1 cube to n cube, and yeah, 19, 1 squared to n squared. Which is, let me write idea 19 here. 1 squared to n squared, 1 squared, 2 squared to n squared is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over all over 6. And idea 21 cubed to n cubed equals n times n plus 1 over 2 whole squared. Homework 5. You can try this problem of AMC 12A, problem 12. And next one, homework problem 17. 
Okay, let's write homework 6Q17. Next one, problem 20. Homework 7. Problem 20 from AMC 12A. Next one, problem 22 here. And next one, problem 24. Okay, so homework 8. Q22, you can solve these problems by applying casework, small examples. Homework 9, Q problem 24. All of them from AMC 12A. If you want to solve more problems or want to learn more ideas, as I said before, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Also, if you want to prepare for area stage or national stage, if you want to learn important ideas, again, as I said, you can send a message by WhatsApp number.